discuss about one of the very very interesting topic in the physiology chapter that is in body fluids and circulation that is nothing but the blood groups. See you might have been aware that uh, there are the different types of the blood groups were present A blood group, B blood group, AB blood group, MN blood group and Bombay blood group so on and so forth. All these blood groups are due to the antigens which is present on the membrane of the RBC. There are more than 30 types of antigens are present on the membranes of the RBC. So, there are the different types of the blood groups were present and it is known that you are not familiarized with all those 30 types of the blood groups because the major blood groups are only two. They are ABO blood group system and RH blood group system. So, if you see the historical aspects, first time this ABO blood group system was identified by Carl Landsteiner that you might have been studied. But there is a small logic over here. What is that? A Carl Landsteiner first time reported ABO blood group system in human beings, that is true. But when we say the ABO blood group system, it includes A, B, AB and O, four blood groups. In this, Landsteiner had identified only three, A, B, O. Then who has identified ABO blood group, AB blood group system? AB blood group system is identified by D, Castello and Steny. Now, we will see what is the factor that actually determines and differentiate the these type of blood groups. In ABO blood group system, there are two antigens were present that is known as antigen A and another is antigen B. Now, what is the difference? Based on which type of antigen that is present on the RBC, that blood group name is identified. Per se, you can see a group A, blood group A, blood group B, a, B and O. So, these are the four different type of the blood groups which comes under ABO system. Now, this is a red blood cell type and this is an antigen. When we say the blood group A, the antigen which is present over here is A antigen. For a B blood group it is B antigen and A, B antigen your guess is correct. Here both A antigen is present and B antigen is present. Now, when we say the O antigen, O blood group, there is no specific antigen is present for a O blood group. So, that is about an antigen. What do you mean by an antigen? Any substances which triggers the production of antibodies or triggers the immune response is known as antigen. If you see the name antigen, the anti which is present here indicates an antibody. The meaning of gen is generating. So, antibody generating molecules are known as antigens. Then what is the chemical nature of this antigens? This antigens either they might be proteins or they might be carbohydrates, they might be nucleic acids or they might be lipids also. Sometimes both glycoproteins and the glycolipids also. Here these are the glycoproteins. The blood group determining one is a glycoproteins. Now, if you see the person blood group is A, antigen is A and what is the antibody? B and blood group B, antigen A, antibody is A which is present in a plasma and here when the person is having both the antigens, there is no antibodies are present for that particular antigens and for a group O as both the antigens are absent. Hence, both the antibodies are present. Now, this is the NCRT table. When you are performing the blood transfusion reactions, it is very important to match the blood groups. The reason is, if you can see, the blood group A has an antigen A and antibodies B and vice versa. And he can take the blood from the A and O. The reason is, A antigen, A antigen will be matches and O blood group does not have a any antigen. What happens if you give a blood group B? Person antigen is A, he has antibodies B with he in his blood and now you are giving the B blood group. Antigen B, antibody B will cross react with each other that results in a WWF fight. So, the moment when antigen and antibodies are same like antigen A, antibody A or antigen B and antibody B, both of them are results 
in the reaction that is known as agglutination reaction that results in a clumping of the blood which results in a death. So, that is the reason the blood group matching or perfusions is very important. Here you can see the O can donate the blood to all the other groups hence O is known as a universal donor. O is said to be universal donor. Why he is said to be universal donor? Because antigens are completely absent. As antigens are absent, there is no immune response in the receptor's body. And if you can see the B, AB can receive the blood from all the other blood groups. Hence, AB is known as universal acceptor. Why it is universal acceptor? Because both the antigens are present. So, there is no antibodies. So, AB is said to be universal acceptor and O is said to be universal donor that is with respect to the AB blood group. The next one, this is very important for a neat point of view. See, we, we are saying that O blood group A, AB and O. What is the difference? See, you can see in all the blood group, this structure is common which is said to be H antigen. So, in an examination if they ask what is a common thing among the all the blood groups, all the blood group will be having the H antigen. Now, how this H antigen is going to be modified that it will determine the blood group. If you see the blood group B, apart from this normal structure what is added here? Galactose. If the galactose is added to the H group that will become B. If n acetyl galactose amine is added to the H that will become A. If both of them are added, then that will become AB. So, H antigen is common for all the blood groups and A and B is a one which is going to be changes the blood group. So, that is the reason we commonly say O persons does not have a any antigen. It means he does not have the A antigen or B antigen, but H antigen will be there. If that H antigen is also absent, then that results in a very special blood group that is known as Bombay blood group. Bombay blood group. In Bombay blood group, H antigen is also absent. Now, next with respect to the RH blood grouping, RH blood grouping is a minor blood grouping. This was identified by the Landsteiner and Wiener. It is first identified in a rhesus monkeys. As it is identified in a rhesus monkeys, what it is calling as RH grouping. They are called as RH factor or RH antigen. Majorly, RH positive is there. So, major persons will be having the RH, RH positive and very few persons will be having an RH negative. 80 to 99 percentage of the human possess RH positive and very few is RH negative. The formation is controlled by a dominant gene. So, suppose if the person blood group is genotype is R and R, if it is R and R, homozygous dominant and capital R smaller heterozygous. If both the alleles are same, we will call it as an homozygous. If one is a dominant allele, if one is a recessive allele, we will call it as heterozygous. In this condition, as both the cases capital R is present, these two are said to be a dominant. If both are recessive, means if they are smaller and smaller, that is said to be a negative, homozygous recessive and the persons will become RH negative. Now, you have a question, right? The, we will call it as an A positive or A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive and AB negative, O positive and O negative. Here, A this first letter indicates ABO blood grouping, positive and negative indicates the RH. Now, when you include the RH group also, O negative is universal donor. When you are talking in a very much specific manner, universal donor is O positive and universal acceptor is AB positive. So, that is about the two blood grouping systems, ABO blood grouping system and RH blood grouping system.